Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps. Um, and recently I've been doing a lot of cycling out in the forest, in Epping Forest and stuff, on the trails. Uh, and I wanted to map the route and the distances that I'm covering and the times that I'm covering in. I mean, stopwatch is easy, right? You know, I did this A to B, blah, 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 in this much time, which is straightforward. But what about the actual route you're taking, GPS mapping that route? Um, what about elevations? How difficult is the route? All that kind of stuff. So... Uh, what happened was um, I came across something called Strava online now <clears throat> on on Google Play and I started using this uh, and I loved it to bits so I thought let me make a quick little video about it for you and there's a few good things about this app well there's lots of good things about this app but there's a few key things that I want to highlight <clears throat> now let's just go actually not that one let's go to let's go to um, Here we go. How about this one? The reason I picked this one is because the other ones, one of them, I didn't actually get it, get it to work properly. It was just me mess, pressed the wrong button. So anyway, so I did 4.5 miles and I was with my six year old, by the way. So, um, you know, you might think, oh, 4.5 is not much for a big bloke like me. But I was actually with my six year old and she loves it. So, yeah, I did 4.5 miles in 53 minutes and uh 51 miles of 5.1 miles an hour not 51 miles an hour <laughs> right i burnt 104 calories i don't believe the calories to be to be honest i think strava need to look at that i'm sure they just obviously just some kind of estimate but i'm pretty sure it's a lot more than 104 calories because the, the the difficulty in some of the train wasn't that straightforward um so you can have a look at the actual route on the map blah 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 you can see you know the actual route you took through the forest or through the trails and the trails are not exactly mapped on here but the gps location system kind of tells you where you are um, and exactly where you are uh, and the other thing that i actually came across recently with this app was it's actually got personal best for certain parts of the track so have a look at this right and i'm having to use two fingers so i can zoom in and out of the map so it says for this little stretch that i did here i have a personal best at that time was three point three minutes twenty two seconds, all right, and I was like, all right. I, I mean, I didn't notice that I, when I did this one initial ride, and actually, I've got it down to one minute thirty, 30 one minute um, thirty seven seconds, and that's with people slowing me down in you know, on route. You can't drive like a main cycle like a maniac in case you run someone over, right? You have there's other people on the road on, on the tracks. There's horse riders, there's cyclists, there's people pushing their kids in the buggies. So it is really cool though. Um, but then when I looked at this a bit more, I looked at there's actually a leaderboard. Look at the leaderboard. Sick, right? So this dude here, Mr. Tom Ellis, he did it in 101. You believe that? He did it in 101. He must be a beast. That's all I'm saying. He must be a beast. You know, look at these guys, man. All of these guys to do it in that time. I mean, I told you like at the moment, my fastest time. Look, there it is. 136, actually, not 137. I reckon I can get that down to 120, probably 120, 1 minute 20 seconds. But look at these guys, man. They ripped it. But it's pretty good, right? You know, you're putting yourself against everyone else who's used Strava on that route at, you know, over the year. Look, so this year, 30, I'm number 31 for this year, but all time I'm at 99, right? And then the breakdown by age, breakdown by weight, uh, which is awesome, awesome, honestly. And you can see all the different personal personal best for great route. i'm not sure who created these routes on here in the first place but you know this year look um 218 is my rank so i did it in eight minutes did it say eight minutes that's what happens when you got kids with you right this guy did it in one minute 33 seconds what a beast mr simon pemberton that's all i gotta say <laughs> smashed it bro <laughs> smashed it so you, you can see all the route break that is awesome app awesome honestly um and you know i've got some more some more uh rides that i did on different days and they all you know i mean this was one i did solo let me just quickly show this i did 12.6 miles obviously no kids slow me down a bit i was a bit quicker and you know, i got a personal best on a personal best on a, quite a few little parts of the track um but it was a wicked ride though and you, know, you can add pictures so let's just look at some of the pictures i've added as part of the route you know this is some of the places that I went. Um, so it's awesome. And in what it's basically, it's a bit like Facebook, but for 
people that do a lot of ac outdoor activities like running, cycling, swimming, all that kind of stuff. So you can have a look. look so let's say I wanted to add one, right? It says, okay, manual activity. What kind of activity was it? Look at this. Run, ride, sorry, swim, hike, walk, alpine ski, backcountry ski, ice skating, snowboard, sh snowshoe. I don't even know what that is, by the way. Nordic ski, canoe, kayaking, kite surfing, rowing, stand up paddling. What? Look at this, man. I don't even know half. Of, I don't know half of these exist. I don't even know what half of them are. Yoga, virtual bike ride, weight training. You can map just about anything on here, um, and that's manual activity. So you can select that beforehand. But obviously, all my activities are cycle related. You can even say this is my regular commute, right? Um, and I started today, and I did the following distance. Blah blah blah. This is a manual one. So you can you don't you don't normally use manual, right? You what you would do is you'd say start. Um, you would say start tracking so if we go to feeds here you'd say record activity and it will start recording you know your speed your location uh, if there's an incline and all that kind of stuff it can tell so it's quite cool it's it's not quite cool it's awesome awesome right and I love it to bits and it just I'm a stats kind of guy I'm a bit of a computer Greek geeky kind of guy so I love to look at all these stats distances even with the sat now running in a car when I'm driving up north it's the same thing but it's it is wicked um and what happens is it's a bit like Facebook or Twitter for example so you people on here that you create an account and you can follow each other so when I complete a ride for example you know you can see who's following me all, all these boys one guy um so when i complete my my cycle or my activity um and it's finished and i say finish they get notified that you know i dog time completing the activity why don't you check it out and it's really cool that way you can you know keep in touch you know on all your activities that you're doing and if you're doing similar routes and you can obviously do a bit of, have a bit of a competition although you know the brother that i'm following he's not really in the same city as me but you know it's always good to see how he's doing and you know how what kind of distances he's cover if he's he covering and are they similar and that kind of stuff it, it is wicked honestly it's wicked um the other thing that one of the show pieces of this app for me uh, and i don't know if anyone else uses this yet now this is obviously on my android device and i from my previous videos you know i've got quite a few android wear watches um so what i've got right is a sony smartwatch 3 and you've seen this in some of my other videos now this is sick right check this out right strava check it strava how about that strava so you just say okay so you say with strava you can say start boom done so now i'm cycling cycling look the distance everything is there the, the basic information that i need during the activity is there time distance and obviously as i'm moving the miles per hour and everything's going up uh, and you can see, look, my average speed, it reckons, is, is, is wrong, obviously. <laughs> you could pause it. Stopping ride. Oof, did you hear that? Starting ride. That's my phone talking. Stopping ride. <laughs> can you hear it? Hold on. Starting ride. I've not heard that before, actually. Stopping ride. So it's actually connected. It's actually using Wi-Fi to connect to my phone because my Bluetooth's not on. Um, so it's using my house's Wi-Fi. Um, and then when you say finish... Is it finish? Done. Ride finished. You see that? Blah, blah, blah. You did this distance and then it comes up on the phone. The other good thing is when you like to stop to take a breather or take a five minute break, it says, you know, the phone auto, the watch auto stops. So it says auto stopped. Uh, it never used to do that, but a few weeks ago, it just started doing, it just started working a lot better, the app itself. Um, and this watch obviously has its own GPS built in. So I think you can say to it, um, hopefully look there you go morning ride obviously i didn't go anywhere i was just showing it to you as a test run so i'm going to delete it um, but it's come up straight away on my phone so i can look at where i went and what i did which i didn't do much um the other thing is if you go to here i think you can say uh, where if you see where the where setting you can say use device gps so obviously this is one of the very few devices i think this is the only one i will uh, watch that has gps built in the sony smartwatch free so you can say use the gps on the watch and what that means is is you can probably leave the phone at home i'm guessing and just take the watch and the watch will run on its own um with strava using the phone using the watches uh, using the watches 
GPS instead of the phones so uh, a few times I've taken it out I'm gonna try it again actually without Bluetooth enabled so the watch is not communicating with the phone but the watch is doing its own mapping of the route and then what happens is when you say finish ride later on the watch will pair up with the phone and upload the, or upload your ride information or your activity information to Strava which means you can then access it via the app like I can see here but it is awesome honestly if you guys are doing any of these kind of activities like I said there's a whole load of them swim run ride hike alpine ski everything you know this is an app to do it with I would say so we definitely recommend this I love it to bits um, and I think the icing on the cake with this is the fact that it runs on Android Wear and you can manage it from Android Wear <coughs> during your cycle or during your activity um, anyway great work Strava love it to bits um, if you have any questions anyone just hit up hit us up on the messages or you can contact Stra Strava directly but if you do have any tips I'm still a beginner with Strava and uh, and all this outdoor stuff but I'm, I'm loving it so uh, anyway like please like the video and um, sub to the channel for all of our latest apps related information and lots of stuff going on at the moment and we'll catch up with you guys later peace out